All right, guys, you ready for theme number two? Theme number two, 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 two. All right, folks, I have a special guest with me today. So I'm gonna put on my mask because you know it's no longer an accessory. It's now over my face because I've got Miss Sandra in the house today. Woohoo, Sandra! Hey, everybody. Ooh, let's go over this way. Oh, let's see. There we go. There. There, there we go. There. Let me make this a little bit smaller so it's not covering your face. Oh, that's, that's fine with me. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, Sandra, first of all, how many of you know and love Sandra? You can't help but not uh, love her once you know her. Yeah, she's, there's a few out she's there. Pretty amazing. Oh, yeah, thank you. She's pretty thank amazing. You. And uh, Fern is out there. Hi. Hi. She says. Yes, yes. <laughs> Fern and I are our quilting buddies That's here. That's right. Yeah, we've been friends with Fern for 30 plus years. Oh my goodness. Long, long time. That is a long time. Yeah, she came to me one day and said, Sandra, help me. I need to learn how to do something to take up my time. Really? So I taught her to quilt. And now look what's happened to <laughs> yeah. you, Fern. Yes. The rest is history. Yes, yes. <laughs> she has gone crazy. Yeah, yes. she has. She's amazing. Yeah, she does very well. She does do very well. So Sandra is my guest today. And Sandra, how long have you been with us now? Um, about eight months. About eight months. Yeah. It was just right around when COVID it was in June started. Yeah. Oh, so just a few yeah. months after that. And we said, we need help. Yep. <laughs> and um, Sandra and said, I need help. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Because you, you were wanting to get out of the house a little yes. bit, right? Yes, I was, yeah. a little. Yeah. And, and why not hang out with the girlfriends? Well, and, and do what I enjoy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So Sandra, many of you um, probably recognize Sandra from Kimber Bell events. She's, she oversees our Kimber Bell events. And you might, I mean, you'll see her a lot on the Facebook groups. Right. But um, she doesn't actually teach the Kimber Bell event, although you have done. Oh, I have. I've done one or two. Two. Two of them now. Yeah. With Lisa. Correct. And right? we've got another one coming up um, the end of next week. Oh, yeah. The Vintage Flora. Vintage Flora, yeah. That Lisa and I'll be doing next week. But also, another thing that Sandra does see, I. I <laughs> I can't have her just work once a week <laughs> or twice a week. No. Little do they know, yeah. once they come in, they it's like kind of rope you in. <laughs> I need you more. Come back. I yeah. need you more. So it's not just the Kimber Bell events now, but she oversees a lot of different things that we have going online, including the block of the months right now. And she's been working so hard on that. And she's just, um, and she does um, it, sewing club. Yeah, the feeling. Right? Blank fill in the blank sewing, sewing club version. for those of you yeah. who are sewers. So anyway, love, love, love Sandra. Teresa says Sandra's always smiling. Oh, well, yes, thank can't you, you see yeah, from you hair to hair? <laughs> you can see it in your eyes, yes. girl. You can see it in your eyes. Debbie Shadoni says that Sandra is amazing. Fern says I'm poorer and richer because of it. Oh, yeah. Because of what you introduced her to. Yes. <laughs> yes. There you go. Yeah, D says, watch out, you get caught in Chris's web. <laughs> Yep, yep. That's, <laughs> That's so right. True. That's it's right. It's so fun. And because the people around here have been so amazing, mm -hmm. um, everybody has just been so kind. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's just, I enjoy coming. Yay. And that's good. Well, we love it. We love yeah. having you, Sandra. Yeah. You are a huge addition to here. And I don't know what we'd do without you. So well, thank please, you. Please don't leave me. Uh, I'm please. not going anywhere. Okay, good, <laughs> good, good, good. All right, guys. Well, the reason why I've got Sandra coming on is because we have a brand new product that we wanted to share with you today that was just released from uh, Riley Blake and I, first of all let me give you this little caveat I am so sorry if you are sick and tired of the mask theme yeah. right right it is what it is <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I don't see it going anywhere I don't for a see while. it going anywhere for a while so regardless of how you feel about masks we're going to talk a little bit more about masks today yeah. because, stay with us, because Riley Blake just introduced a brand new template that is called the 3D Face Mask Template. Okay, just when you thought you had seen all of them, right? Every make and model of mask that's ever out there, and now we got a new and one. And now we got a new one. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. And so this is from 
Riley Blake, it's brand new. It has the, the instructions in it. Um, it's got your quarter inch seam allowance built in and everything. But Sandra said, you know what? I would like to give that a try. And so that's actually the mask she's wearing today. Yeah. Do you want to get an up close yeah. and personal? Let's get up close. Yeah, let's, do let's show, let's let's show them this. Where are we? There we so are. But I do see, have one right here. Oh, okay. Let's there go ahead. Go. You can see that it actually... There's a seam right here and a seam down here. So it actually covers the chin really well and it covers the nose really well. And it actually is to help prevent the fogging up of glasses. Well, and, and another thing that I have found with it as I've worn it, um, I went and made I made them last week and I've mm -hmm. worn this one quite a bit and mm -hmm. it doesn't fall off your nose when you're talking. Oh. So I think yeah. that's what this, it's not really a seam. It is, you actually sew it along. Let's see, where are we at? Bring it right up here. There, we, there go. we go. You actually sew it along the fold. You fold it over and oh, then yes. you sew it. So mm -hmm. it's not really a seam. So it doesn't have the bulk of a seam. Mm -hmm. So it just has just that little quarter inch or eighth of an inch right there that you, mm -hmm. that fits right here across mm -hmm. your nose. But it does prevent this from sliding down. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I have found with a lot of the masks, you know, because it's not a one size fits all anymore. Right. <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> you true. know, at first true. it was like one size fits everybody, yeah. and yep. you just had one mask. But it's not that way anymore because you have to wear them so much mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. it, you have to find something that's comfortable. Mm -hmm and something that will work for you. Another exactly. thing, the thing that I like about this too here is with this here, is that um, underneath your chin right here, it doesn't pull as you're talking. Oh, okay. Cause I've noticed a lot of them will pull down. Uh -huh. Another thing is that with that, it keeps the bulk this way so that it doesn't suck in when yes. you're, you know, when you're breathing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah. actually, this it, it kind of extends it out. it out and not sucked yes. up right against your lips, yes. right? Yes. Yes. So let's, um, Sandra put together some step outs of how this template goes it's together. Super simple. So let's simple. take a look at how this is super done. Super simple and it doesn't take much at all. You, you use um, two pieces of fabric that are eight by 10. Okay. Okay, so I now, just grabbed a couple of pieces that... This um, would also be perfect for if you had like um, a layer cake. Yes. Ten inch squares. You could yes. do this with this, right? Yeah, just okay. a, a fat or eight. Or a fat eight. A fat eight. So that's, your scraps. I just grabbed a couple of fat eights from downstairs. So okay. this would be, you know, nine inches, but you just have an eight by an eight by ten piece of fabric. Okay. Okay. And then you take it, um, your template, you have two of them obviously, mm -hmm. one for the inside and outside. You mm -hmm. take it and put it on the fold and then you just cut right there all the way around that way. So that when you open that up, it would look like this. Okay, so um, you take two of them, I have two of them here, and you put them right sides together you guys are going to be so impressed with this little demo I'm doing here because it's like step by step. Anyway, you put, put them um, right sides together like that. And then you take them and sew it all the way around and leave a little opening right here. Okay. So you're going to sew it like this. Leave a little opening and then you're going to take that and you're going to turn it right side out to where it ends up like this. Okay. Press it, and then you're going to just stitch an eighth of an inch all the way around. And that closes up your opening. Oh, sure, right. Okay. So once you get it at this point, um, then you take it and you turn it and fold it. Here's your, your points right here, which were on your template. Uh -huh. And you fold that over. No, I lied. You fold it this way. Okay, okay. <laughs> I like. Yes. You fold it this way uh -huh. and this way so they don't actually meet all the way in the middle. Okay, but they so there's come, a little bit of a there's space There's a little there. bit of a space. Okay. And then that's when you take it and you sew along this edge right here. Oh, okay. okay. So here we are again, another step. Mm-hmm. I see what you're doing here. Yeah, yeah. 
That makes total okay. sense. Okay. So that's what makes that across mm -hmm. the top of your nose and barely under your chin, mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. So that's what's so going to make the flap. So that's what makes it this way. Sure. Okay. Then you're going to take it at this point, and you take your piece of elastic, and it says um, eight to ten inches. And I found that ten inches for me was a little tight. Mm -hmm. um, Cindy down in our cutting, she made she it made also too, yeah and she used a 12 inch piece of elastic okay and she right. found that that was a little bit better okay okay but then you at this point you take it and you set it there on your edge right there and then you just fold that over like that just once just know. once okay. yeah and then you stitch that I'll down stitch that Okay, here we go again. I told you you're going to be impressed with my little step-by-step step here. I am very impressed. Look at all those step-outs. So then you have, and stitch that down, and you have your elastic here. Sure. Like this. Yeah. Okay, and you do that on both sides, obviously. Okay. Okay. So once you have it at that stage, you're going to take it, and it's going to be sitting like this, and you have your elastic in here. Okay. Okay. Then you take it at this point here where your little points are here and you pu not pull it straight up but you pull it over and meet it at that point right there does okay, that make sense so let's take a look up here so you're right there we're going to fold it back on top of itself and it, are you going to place a pin there well what no you're going to take it and make that point oh, go you over want it to, to the go. end. Yeah, okay. you want it to go there. so it Because gives it's going to give you some give. Correct. I see, I see. Okay, yeah. and then you're going to stitch it down. Okay. So you're going to take that and put it there. So that gives you your give right there. There you and go. And brings it out at this yes. here. Yes. So that gives it this direction. Uh-huh, exactly. I like that. Okay. Okay. And then you stitch that all the way down on let's go this let's go this direction here so it's like that okay okay then you're going to take your elastic and you can either stitch it or tie it in a knot okay i wanted what i just took recommend? i took just a needle and thread because this doesn't go underneath your presser foot very easily yeah yeah so i just took a needle and thread mm -hmm. and just took a couple of whip stitches mm -hmm. on that point right mm -hmm. there you can tie it in a knot okay but then you've got that knot either hanging Inside out here there, yes. and it's kind of hard to pull it through. Okay. So I stitched so it. stitching it would make it a little bit easier to go through, and right? a little bit less bulk. Yes. Yeah. So okay. let's see. Let me pull this one out. You can see where I just stitched that together. You know, one little tip I have, if you're having trouble like getting that, you know, you're trying to get them both underneath your, your presser foot there, you could even take like a piece of Kimberbell tape and just kind of wrap it like wrap it around and then you can sew right through it yes and it's not going to gum up your needle it will be just fine so that's just a little tip i have yeah. in case you're struggling with having those go in different yeah, places yeah that's a super idea yeah and then that way see you don't have the bulk and you won't have a knot at mm -hmm. the top of your at the top of your mask or, yeah you wouldn't or, want that behind, or behind your, your ear, ear right. or whatever mm -hmm. you know and i, I mm -hmm. didn't like i didn't want the knot issue mm -hmm. but then i just took that and just pulled that to the inside of my little sleeve right there that little channel okay. that you made yeah and then there you go and there it is so start to finish what would you say about how much time does this take um, I mean, not not your first one. Yeah, obviously, not your not first, your first one. one. But um, after you get the hang of it, twenty talk, minutes, half an hour tops. Yeah, right? yeah, tops. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it did go really quickly. Now, the one another thing that that was mentioned at one time uh -huh. is that to prevent some of the bulk at this point, at uh -huh. where you flip this over right here, sure, is to just take yours and sew it here. These places like that and then here and here and here mm -hmm. leaving your ends open mm -hmm. at this point mm -hmm. turning it and then you don't have that bulk here oh. where you're flipping that over for your elastic uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that makes sense and then you could say surge that point yes you could absolutely and then you're not having because you're right here you've got four layers of fabric uh-huh yeah 
and then stitching that down so then you wouldn't have so much bulk at this sure. point you could just serge sure. that right 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 so that 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 would work too i like it so either way it any of them would and so, like i said quick quick oh yeah so this is this is again the template that riley blake has put together for this again all the instructions are found in there um one of the things I also wanted to point out today, because this tip is good for whether you're doing masks or whether you're doing any kind of ruler work, template work, whatever. And a lot of you have heard me talk about this before, is a product called Grippy. Okay. How many Very of you so. have this? Do you love it? Um, what's been your experience with Grippy? Because I'll tell you, it happens to be one of my most favorite products out there on the market right now and I'll tell you why because if you look at this template as it's um, if, you, if you're cutting whether it's this again or any other ruler you're using you get sometimes that slippage right slippage yes no bueno yeah. <laughs> we don't like when things slip well, right and especially if you're you know you're trying to do this quickly so you're yes. gonna want to do you know, You're multiple layers. Well, yes. And to have that yes. uh, is kind of a, is a real problem. So one of the things, now this is your personal template now. Do you mind if I spray no, some grippy on by it? All okay, means, we, I would we are, you we are gonna spray some grippy on this, yeah. folks. Um, you've seen it live right here. Let's take a look at the difference this makes. So I'm gonna pull this out and I will actually turn around. Oh, I've got it. It would help if I actually opened it, huh? Well, let's try this. Okay, there we go. Okay, so Grippy, you spray this on the back of your rulers. Annette says, oh yes, I love mine. I use it all the time. Fern loves that spray. Sharon loves the spray. Sally loves the spray. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here real quick and just do a quick little spray. You'll notice I'm not doing very much, okay? So let me make sure I spray it on the right side. The wrong side. Well, <laughs> the, yes, the, however you look at it, the wrong side, the right side, right? And I'm yeah. going to let it, just give it a few seconds to dry. Yeah, it's dry now. Now let's take a look at this, put it down. Make sure that's flat. It's oh, not moving. Yeah. Do you see the difference? That's a, that's big. Yeah. It's it is not moving. So when I put pressure on it, and it's not doesn't no. give a big. I mean, no. you can feel a difference from still, one side to the other, but it's, it's still, still as okay. clear as clear can be. Yeah. But again, perfect. Uh, before I could that ruler when I was putting pressure on it, it would slide. When I put pressure on this, it's well, not flip sliding. it over. Oh yeah, there we go. See, yeah. you can see right there when it's when it doesn't have the grippy, it's sliding. With the grippy, there's no slide. So there you go, Sandra. Now you have grippy oh, on your. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now another product that's out there. Let's say you don't like a spray. There's another product out there from Gypsy Quilter called No Slip Grip Dots, and this is something that you could also put on the back of your rulers, um, and it it can be very helpful. Okay. Yeah. So. If you don't like the spray, but you want some traction on the back of your rulers, you can go for the no-slip grip dots as well. So, a couple of options there. Um, some people have asked uh, about, like, the nose, you know, has the nose. You didn't feel like you needed it. Yeah, no, I really don't think I do. And I think it's, I, yeah. it's not designed to have to do that. But, of course, if you wanted to, you could do that. And so, we do actually sell... Do you know what these are? I do know what those are. These are, are coffee bag uh, yeah. little things. And we sell them in sets of 12 where you can actually end up making 24 masks, okay, with this because you would cut them in half. And, and so then you just sew it in uh, to your nose bridge. And so if you've got... Um, I have some of those and I thought, at first I thought, I'm going to see if, if I can do it without. Uh -huh, without and it. I have felt no, very comfortable. No problem with that. No. But some people, like with regular masks, if you're really wanting it to, you know, hug have your a, nose, hug a, little your bit nose right a little there. bit more, then maybe you'd be interested in something like that. So, um, 
thank you so much for your demo and the step outs. Let's check and see if we have a few more questions here. Um, okay, so uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Barb says she doesn't use the nose wires in her mask like that, but it stays in place. And that's, yeah, yeah oh, there's yeah. a lot that will stay in place. But if, if you're having trouble with things staying in place, your mask stay in place, wanting to have a, a better grip, then the little coffee, what do you call them? Oh, coffee bag. Do they just bendable, hold on? Yeah, yeah they, they, they just... hold on to the coffee bag. Yeah. So anyway. Um, how often do you have to spray a ruler? Patsy is asking. Uh, not very often. Seriously, the, the, a, a little bit goes a, a long, long way. way. I can and it use it over for... and over and over and over again and never have any troubles. And if I, if I start seeing the slipping uh, happening again, I just um, redo, redo it. it, you know, and it's just a little bit. So, um, how about the piece for behind your head? The piece behind your head. I'm not uh, sure what you're referring yeah. to, Deanna. Unless you were to use one that, unless you were to p make this one to go up around your head mm -hmm. instead of behind your ear. Yeah, you could do that. I mean, you could. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. The coffee bag closing thingamajig. Yeah, that's it. it. Yeah. 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 That's what it is. So, um, <laughs> all of the dimensions are found in the pattern. We can't really give all of that away, but. Um, because it is inside the pattern, but uh, yeah, it's um, actually, it works out pretty good, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm liking it. I, th I think for, for all of the masks that are out there that I've worn and that, um, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm mm -hmm. really liking this mask. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And as you can see, I'm going to have several that I can give to my kids, you know, and, and that. So uh, one thing that I did find out with this one is that it's not real big uh -huh. some of the masks are you know they go clear up to your back to your mm -hmm. ears or whatever mm -hmm. and this is a smaller mask mm -hmm. so um it so would you work. could you could just add maybe like an inch to it or if, half an inch if, if your face is bigger mm -hmm. yeah if you, or for a man say mm -hmm. that if he's got a, a bigger you would definitely just you could add a little bit that way mm -hmm. too so yeah yeah you know right now this is what they're telling us is it's a one size fits all right you know obviously what i would do if i were making them for men women children i would try one out based on this size yep and then i would put it up and i would say okay let's um let's take a look at this if i was put making it for a, a four-year-old right i would say you know what i'm gonna bring it in by about a half an inch or yep. so yep. you and know you and and vice versa take some off of the middle here and bring it in or or just take us uh make it a little bit smaller yeah but i think this is actually as you can see it's not it's not a great big mask no mm -mm. it is but i really do mask. like how it kind of has that it has that fold it comes up and out in the back who would have yeah. thought that we would be know. you know evaluating masks the way we are now it's kind of crazy right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, and, and I worked in the dental office for years and years and wore masks all the time. Yes, but they were always true. the disposable ones, you know, that you just throw away. And, and... now it's a fashion statement. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to have <laughs> Right? I know. Look at, all how, <laughs> look at how pretty Sandra's is. <laughs> how many different ones I have here? <laughs> uh, Janine has a good idea. She says to use a bead, make the elastic longer to make it adjustable. Yes. I like that. I like that a lot, Janine. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm I'm just scrolling through real quick. Um. Do 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 do. Oh, they're they're loving your nails, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty. Thank I was no noticing those as well. I thought, ooh, beautiful. Well, thank you. Uh, Lauren is asking, do you think you could put a filter in it, and how would that work? Have you Boy, thought about I don't know. that? No, I haven't. Because I, you know, I think the feel, they're hard enough to breathe in, is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As it, but if you needed to have a filter in it, yes, you probably could. Mm -hmm. um, I would m probably cut it just a little bit because it's going to get caught here when you sew across the top of it to make that little fold up here. So you could make it just so that it was in this section. Mm hmm. Um, I haven't put filters in any of my masks. Yeah. Hmm. So, but I I would bet that you could. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's see. Sure Some of you are having problems with your hearing aids with wearing your mask. Yeah, that would be hard. Oh, wouldn't I would it? think so. Definitely. I mean, masks make it hard of hearing anyway. Yeah, that's <laughs> they, true. They do. They make it hard of hearing in the first place because, uh -huh. I mean, people muffle and you, you really find that with the younger generation that talks so fast. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And it muffles them and so sometimes we can't understand them as well. Right, exactly. Yep. So a lot of people loving your grippy. That's awesome. Good. Okay.